Welcome to visiting my channel again guys. Today we're gonna um, talk about the problem called the Sherlock and the Ballet String. So in Hacker from HackerRank, uh, let's take a look at how we can solve and tackle this problem. So Sherlock considers the string to be valid if all characters of the string appear the same number of times. It is also valid if he can remove just one character at one index in the string and the remaining characters will occur the same number of times. Given a string S, determine if it's valid. If so, return yes, otherwise return no. So, there are two different separate cases that we need to first think about. First one seems fairly easy and straightforward. If the string has the same occurrences of characters uh, at each given time, it's going to return yes. And uh, next uh, situation is even if they don't have same occurrences of characters appearing uh, in the in the same string, but if, if we were to remove ju remove just one character, then uh, we're able to basically say that that string is valid. So I just basically uh, wrote it the input and output fit by uh, you know like shown by this heck rank one two three different cases the a a b b c d it says no because if even well, no matter which uh, character we delete the uh, the currencies of these is going to be different what about a a b b c c d e e e f j c again okay so number of currencies from a to e f twos but f g h i only have one so matter uh, which character we do uh, we it's going to be still different what about a b c d e f g a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So these are kind of backward words. So each one of the letters are two. So cool. Yeah. So let's first take a look at how we think about this problem. So I want to like split it up into the two different cases where uh, we only let's talk about on um, this case, which is the first conditions. If considers all characters seem appear the same number of times. That seems fairly uh, straightforward. So I'm gonna import Java util. Let's start by importing. Uh, some necessary libraries in Java, and I'm gonna public class solution, and uh, I'm, I want to like start defining this called. I'm gonna say public boolean is all same, and I'm gonna construct this uh, true or false. Is all same. It's gonna take based on my understanding. It's gonna take the array list of integers. Okay, and what this does is it's gonna check whether all elements in this integers are same or not. There are many ways of doing this. The way I can do it is I can just anchor or fix the first element in the array and I've got to keep checking whether the other elements are same as the first one. If so, return true. Uh, and at the end of the loop, if it does not, if it does not match with the first, um, if, you know, if, uh, I'm sorry, if any of this character, um, or the, I mean the integer element in this array list is not same as the first one, it's going to return false. Otherwise, it's going to return true. So in first equals array dot array list dot get zero. Okay. And then I'm gonna loop through. I'm gonna loop through um to this array list and check if array of index i is not as the same as the first one. I want to return and say false, but even after the end of this for loop, right? There is no uh, if everything matches, then I want to return true. So this is sort of the first functional part. So this would uh, this method checks whether the elements in an array list uh, are all same. Or not. Um, the reason why this is it's gonna this elements later on I'm gonna probably put them as the uh, number of occurrences of each character. Okay, so later on this fu soft function is gonna be uh, come really useful to us. Later on, we want to do is public string is valid. So now it's our sort of main staple that we need to focus on. It's going to take a string and it, this uh, basically method is going to return um, if uh, this string is valid or not based on this description. So first one, we already understand this one, right? So what I'm saying is, first, let's say given array is what? Like this, this is the shortest one. So every time I try to think about it, this thing that this is the given input and I'm going to um, step by step in journal. So what I want to do is I'm gonna check um, the currencies of each character. So I'm gonna use what 
dictionary in Python, but in Java it's called what? Hash map, right? So I'm going to use hash map. So what I want to do is later on, whatever dot 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 the code, right? Later on, I want to um, shape it out as some type of thing, such as like map equals A occurs is two times, B occurs two times, C occurs is one time, and D occurs is one time as well, something like that. So this is kind of not easy, I mean not hard at all, the way you do it is first you instantiate um, some kind of map what to what, I'm going to map character to an integer, called map equal new, hash map, it's, the hash map is going to map character to an integer, it's frequency, and then I'm going to loop through each string, and then uh, I'm gonna populate this map by as following as the length. And then I'm gonna keep incrementing this index position. I'm gonna look through the string and check if, hey, does this map contains key, which is the index position i of this um, string? If so, please go ahead and put this uh, this key and I'm gonna please increment value by one otherwise what you want to do is please put uh, go ahead and I didn't just push I key right um, please Increment to its uh, occurrence is one. So hopefully at the end of this for loop, we hope to get this one. Next is pretty the most important part. Like what do you want to do after you figure out this, right? We want to check if the occurrences of this part are all same. If not, we want to try subtract every single occurrences and then check the after map or array list whatever okay it's gonna uh, be all the same otherwise we return no if so we're gonna return yes. so what I'm saying is because it's kind of complicated I want to only store um, what is that called the values so what I want to do is I'm gonna instantiate our array list and I'm gonna store them so the way you do in Java is as following so there are many ways of doing it I guess the way you can do so what I'm saying is right now I want to say array list uh, it goes something like 2, 2, 1, 1. I want to have this type of form. Okay, so the way you do it in Java is um, I'm trying to think. Mm, I thought it was like list integer um, array list. This is just variable name. It goes new array list data type array list. Make sure you don't have typo integer containing integer open close parenthesis and for it's kind of be like a character i colon map dot key set of map it's kind of loop through the key set of map and uh, it's kind of find the character i right as you see in this map and then what you want to do is array list dot add map dot get i as the key. So hopefully after this we won't have this form. Hopefully. That's my hope. And then what I want to do is I'm gonna feed I'm gonna feed this array list, right? Whatever, to here and check, hey, is all the elements the same? Then I want to return yes. Otherwise I'm gonna keep thinking about it. So right? So is all the same here, there you go. This is the point where I use my own function that I um, determined, uh, kind of made it up a few minutes ago. So array list, I'm going to pass array list. If this, so this, because this is the Boolean value, it's going to say what, as you see here, true or false, right? So if so, then return yes. And, and be mindful that uh, we are still inside of uh, this public, whatever the method is. So if you just kind of automate terminate, it, it's going to return this yes as a string. Otherwise, what we want to do is kind of following. What we want to do 
is basically we want to subtract one from every time and we want to keep checking whether uh, the new subtracted the array lists belong to this situation which is all the same. Does it make sense to you? So what I'm saying is uh, I'm going to loop through and the first iteration that's going to be 1, 2, 1, 1 and then what second iteration it's going to be what? 2, 1, 1, 1 um, third iteration it's going to be what? Um, 2, 2, 0, 1 and the last element I'm going to just keep subtracting one from each. Does this because these are the four possibilities that the user can do to check if this string is valid or not. And again, because none of them have same occurrences, even after subtracting random one element or index, right, from this array list, this array, uh, this array list is considered um, not valid. So it's going to return null. So what you do is for, first I want to iterate through each array list. That's what I want to do. So array list dot size i plus plus, okay. And then what you want to do is int index equals, I want to get the, uh, keep track of the index of this part because that's the thing. It's called index of in Java. So array list of get i. And then what I want to do is I want to say, again, I want to uh, update the index. See, set of where, at that index to uh, whatever the value has. So, so before, uh, what I'm saying is, so array list get I, right, minus one like this, and then after you are done with this, you want to check if, okay, these all elements in this array list, right, whatever, are these all array list or have same elements? So, oh, we're going to stop and say return. That's valid. Otherwise, we want to keep going. But before we keep going, because we already subtracted one, we want to kind of, uh, how can you say that, renew it back or just get it back to the original one. So because you subtract one, you need to kind of keep the word. You can either a plus one or it doesn't matter. The way I think it, you do is the easy way is, is just to make a temp variable, a temporary, and you just keep the original copy of at this position I value. And even when you subtract it, rather than do this, you can just say 10 minus 1. But after you subtract it, and because after this line, uh, the for loop is going to be reiterated at the next index, right? What you want to do here is called um, array list dot set index and temp. So you just put it back, the value of that index. Um, and even after everything goes, it does not return yes, right? Outside this for loop, what you want to do. It's basically, oh, okay, no, I can't, couldn't uh, find any solution, so I'm, I'm going to say return null. So that's how you do it. Um, so this is valid, kind of closes there, and this is uh, sort of the class solution there. So I'm going to, let's generate and let's keep testing, okay? Public static void main string args. Um, Solution a equals new solution um, and system dot out the print line k that is valid. Is what you want to do is let me try to keep testing. Okay, so first input is this, and I'm, oops, and I'll feed it in. And hopefully, it should say no. I missed one parenthesis, line 39. Okay. Cannot find some. So I got some errors that I need to kind of work on. I'm sorry. Um, can I find some s dot char? Okay, so I keep having some 43 char at. I'm sorry. There's a typo. There's an array list, which is line 55. Array, array, array list. What about? Can I find symbol? Array list 971. Should be array list. Okay, here we go. Typo. Okay, it says no, which is what we're expecting. And this input also should expect no. Hopefully, that's, that's what we're expecting right now. 
No, what about the last one? It, now we're expecting what? Now we're expecting yes. Uh, make sure that you kind of properly fit it in and you get the right answer. Yes. So thank you for watching my video. So this was kind of long solution, but it's just a step, uh, very simple uh, process, uh, step by step, very uh, logical. And again, the key of my algorithm was to make this helper function called what is called ease all same so that I can utilize this function later usefully. And I'm going to keep adding certain condition. And that was the idea um, and the gist of this problem. Hope you uh, um, lifts some comment or press likes and please subscribe subscribe to my channel because I post every day uh, and I hope you have a great day thank you